Let us come together to listen to God's voice, to listen to each other, to speak what is on our hearts, to be held and heard, to find our voices and to hear God's call. Lord, help us to hear your word and to speak it. Help us to know your truth and to show it. Help us to feel your love and to share it. We come to you for comfort and certainty. We want to hear words of reassurance, but you are the God who calls us out from our comfort zones. Sometimes to be unsettled by your word to us. Help us to be open this day to dare to hear in order that we may dare to speak, as Jesus did. When the times demand this, we pray. Amen. Our first uh, song that we're going to have together is an old song uh, done in a, a relatively modern way, uh, well, at least a Celtic way. Here is love, vast as the ocean. Do sing in, join with singing it or just listen to it.
Today's reading is from the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 32. If I could speak all the languages of earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy, and if I understood all of God's secret plans, and possessed all knowledge, and if I had such faith that I could move mountains, but didn't love others, I would be nothing. If I gave everything I have to the poor, and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it. But if I didn't love others, I would have gained nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It's not irritable. And it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Prophecy and speaking in unknown languages and special knowledge will become useless, but love will last forever. Now our knowledge is partial and incomplete, and even the gift of prophecy reveals only part of the whole picture. When the time of perfection comes, these partial things will become useless. When I was a child, I spoke and thought and reasoned as a child, but when I grew up, I put away childish things. Now we see things imperfectly, like puzzling reflections in a mirror. But then we will see everything with perfect clarity. All that I know now is partial and incomplete. But then I will know everything completely just as God knows me completely. Three things will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Uh, the passage that we just heard, uh, you may have realized, doesn't come from uh, 1 Corinthians 32. That was my mistake. Uh, it does actually come from 1 Corinthians 13. Uh, but there we are. Um, <laughs> these things happen. Uh, but it's one of those passages which uh, we all tend to think is entirely about love. And uh, there is a wonderful description of what Christian love is like and how uh, St. Paul understood the love of God and the love that Christ brought to us and so on uh, in, in that passage. Uh, but he says at the end of it that there are three things which last forever. These three things remain, it says in other translations. And uh, they are faith, hope, and love. Faith helps us to keep uh, our heads above water. It helps us to uh, be able to keep going when things don't seem to be uh, worth going for, as does hope. Hope uh, operates in a different way. Hope is that uh, something is going to happen that's going to be better. Faith is the belief in someone better, and belief in someone or something that we can be reasonably certain of. And our faith is one that is built not on uh, some kind of premise that we just uh, 
blind faith, what might be described as. Uh, it's based on a reality, a reality of a human being who lived and worked and uh, spoke among us and did things and said things that we can look at and say, those ring true. They ring true to who we are and what we are. On Sunday, I was talking about uh, the uh, way that we can glibly say that Jesus uh, helps us to become what we were always meant to be. And if you want to think about that uh, further, you might want to look at and hear that uh, talk from Sunday, or you may want to talk further about some of the issues that were raised in that talk on Sunday. But uh, when we look at Jesus, he certainly does, and I concluded that talk with the reality that Jesus does help us to really understand ourselves uh, in a way that uh, nobody else seems to. He seems to understand us with a, a depth and meaning and understand who and what we should really be and help us to become that, uh, I said on Sunday, about the need for us to be people who forgive and overcome things that have gone wrong, those who need to be full of compassion and kindness because those things are the things that really make a difference. And our faith is built on this person who lived and moved amongst us. And we can read about what he did and what he said and we can say that rings true. And although there are elements of it which are difficult to understand and difficult to uh, really make sense out of, uh, because we are mere small specks in a world that is so huge. We are merely small minds trying to grapple with great things. We can see enough and read enough and understand enough to have faith. And that faith can give us a certainty and a ability to say, you know, Regardless of anything else, I think that I can trust Jesus and whatever else is thrown at me, I can carry on trusting because I'm convinced of what he says and what he did and I'm convinced that he thinks I'm special and he loves me. Hope is that one day things will be better. One day I will paint my masterpiece, as Bob Dylan said, but maybe not even I will paint it. Maybe God will paint it for me. One day things will be better. And indeed, this day things can be better. Things can be better than they were and things can be better by the way that we look at our lives and the way we understand ourselves. Hope is something that gives us the ability to look forward even when we are struggling with where we are, to look forward and know that things can be better. So we can look back in certainty that what we have been told and what is true is true. We can look forward in hope because what we look back on gives us some sense of belief that what we look forward to will happen. And we live in love. And is there no better place to be? To know that you are loved, to be loved, to be cared for, to feel it, that you are valued and important and wanted. And we need to grow into those things that uh, St. Paul describes about love in this passage because they are the most wonderful things to be living in the present with. So in many ways, these three things that he say remain look at three stages of our existence and yet affect us in the here and now. One looks back and gives us the ability to look forward. One looks forward and helps us to live in the present with the knowledge that things may become and will become better. And the other deals with the here and now. So these three things remain, faith, hope and love. And we know the greatest is love because God is love. And Jesus is full of love. And we who follow him need to be full of it. We pray that God may help us 
to grow in all three. Amen. We're going to have uh, another song uh, which we can listen to or sing along to and it's My Hope is Built on Nothing Less. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us admit our failures and weaknesses. Father, we admit that we don't relish being challenged. We don't want our ways of thinking and living to be questioned. We like certainties and feeling settled. Forgive us for our lethargy, unresponsiveness, and plain rejection of this, that, or the other, which you would want us to change, address, or be involved in. Amen. Father, you are patient, kind, yet unwilling to allow wrong attitudes or actions to continue. By gently encouraging change. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Let us pray for the world and the church, thankful of God's goodness. We pray too for the poor and for prisoners, for the unemployed and for the homeless. Loving Father, hear our prayer. We pray for those who will go without sustenance today and for those who have the power to feed them. Loving Father, hear our prayer. We pray for those who live in places of conflict, for refugees and those fleeing war. Loving Father, 
hear our prayer. We pray for those who experience conflict at home or at work, and for those with the power to negotiate peace. Loving Father, hear our prayer. We pray for those who've been oppressed for victims of crime, both disclosed and secret. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For children, women and men who feel unsafe and for those who administer justice. Loving Father, hear our prayer. We pray for those we know who are in need, for those who are ill or housebound. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For the very young and very old, and for all those who care for them. Loving Father, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves, that we might have faith and hope and love to flood our lives. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Amen. And we join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Dad in heaven above, let everyone look up to you and the area where you are in charge grow. May what you want happen on earth as perfectly as it does in heaven. Please give to us what we need for today. Forgive us when we think or do wrong things, just as we don't hold it against those who hurt us. Guide us away from whatever we might want, but is unhelpful to us, and protect us from all that is nasty and destructive. For you are in charge for everything. You have the power to do it and you are awesome. You always were, you are now and always will be. Amen. Our final song today is Faithful One.
So may your heart be at peace and your mind be at rest. May you be confident in who you are and share God's gifts of light, hope and grace with those you meet and those you pray for. And may the blessing of God fill your hearts with hope this day and evermore. Amen. And let's pray this prayer together. God of love, help us to be loud, to speak your word, to spread your love, to be a voice for the voiceless. Help us to be quiet, to listen to you, to listen to those that most need to be heard. Let it be so. Amen.